Hi guys. Okay, I'm gonna pause here for a little bit from cleaning, reorganizing, and packing shit for the bus <laughs> and uh, do a video. So, listen, I was talking to somebody in a session the other day, whatever day that was, and I, or I was talking to Sandy, I don't remember which, you know how, the, how I am with things, and I came up with an analogy, or actually I was kind of given the information somewhere, somehow, and what I've said over and over again is to myself, if not you guys, is that I go through every day, moment to moment, and I'm triggered by things from my past. And those triggers send me into a spiral. Sometimes the spiral lasts for a couple seconds. Sometimes it can last for a couple weeks. Depends upon how fast I catch it. Now, these are built on the the systems that were in place and the life that I lived within those systems that were built to take everybody down to 3D and that was the game, okay? So they're built in things like education or oh, deep-seated belief systems that are deeply, deeply ingrained that you follow, I follow, everyone follows without even thinking about it. And I've said this before, you've got one of those in that you say that you've got to breathe. You've got to breathe in, you've got to breathe out. If you don't breathe in and out, you will die. You don't exist here anymore. Well, that is not true. But as long as you believe it to be true, you need to breathe. Okay? Eventually, you won't have to breathe because eventually you'll realize that it has nothing to do with breathing, that it's an energy thing all along. But it's just one of a very tiny belief system that has been put in place. And there's, oh my gosh, there's millions and millions of those that have been put into place. Okay, so in order to be happier and happier, to raise my vibration, to get to 5D, um, when those triggers occur that are built in to take us down in vibration, not up, then I have to catch them. The faster I catch them, the faster you catch them, and go, wait a minute, wait a minute, that's not true. Uh, that is not an accurate truth. I don't have to follow that. I don't have to be triggered by that. All, everything in my history was agreed on by me. I'm a creator God. I did all that. I'm coming out of that now. None of that applies to me anymore. Okay. So, as I was doing this, I was saying to myself, and have been for oh, 10 years, that I've gotten very good at watching for those triggers. What used to a basic trigger, um, and I'm not cutting down men. I love you guys. Uh, all of you. But I had been hurt by men my whole life rather severely so I was very jumpy around men if they came too close to me so that was a trigger well needless to say what that would do is it would law of attraction works but if a guy got too close to me they usually did me harm said something did something hurt me in some way until I m managed to identify that trigger then I started to fix it so that when men I saw men across the street I wouldn't be triggered to start watching them like are they going to come near me are they dangerous all that stuff so I started dealing with that trigger so now it's there's very very little of that left but that took years for me to do just that one now that was a major one in my particular case that's my particular case now you guys need to understand that everyone's triggers are different you went down in vibrations, especially if you were a star seed, which most of you are, if you listen to me. You came down very fast with a particular idea in mind of what you wanted to do and how you wanted to play this out. Okay, so you dealt with different triggers, not like a long-term human that, that has been doing this for millions and millions of lifetimes and beyond, and they have many more triggers but they're much more mildly responsive to them so long-term humans will react differently than star seeds okay so star seeds will act very 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 hard to their triggers it will be an overreaction we will be diagnosed if you were in a hospital setting or if someone was analyzing you if you went to a doctor or a psychiatrist 
or a therapist of any kind, they would probably peg you as being um, overly de overly depressed, acutely depressed, or uh, bipolar. Um, now, the reason why that's gotten to be so popular over the last years is because a lot of star seeds grew up, and because we don't have subtle in between emotions we have just a handful we don't have near as many as long-term humans do and therefore um we get pegged just like being bipolar because it looks like we're going from really really up to really really down which we do only because we don't have all those thousands and thousands of in-between uh, emotions that a long-term human has developed over being here for a very long time life after life after life okay so we do trigger pretty hard on our triggers so as you're dealing with your major triggers, you should be able to identify them star seeds because you will react pretty severely to them. When they hit, I've been saying, in order to be happier and happier, I've been getting really, really good at saying, I'm happier, I feel I'm going down, I'm triggered by something, how do I get back up? Okay, I've been doing that for a while. It's worked really, really well. However, I'm kind of stuck, and I noticed kind of stuck in the happier and happier note period. Well, somewhere with somebody, I don't remember, from the other side, I got the message that now, for me, maybe you, it's time to, instead of looking for the triggers that take you down in vibration, you can also, at all times, look for the triggers that take you up. So these are what I've called the dream triggers. So instead of being 3D triggers, I'm going to call these the dream triggers, or they can be the 5D triggers. So these are triggers that ha you have the option when you're triggered with something, now that you're not looking at all the bad stuff, that you can be triggered towards your dream, whatever dream that is. If, if you're listening to me and it's 5D, then you can be triggered by dreams by looking around walking day to day, you'll see something that will cause you to dream. And in that moment, you've got a choice. You can either say, oh, there's no such thing, or that can't really happen, or you can lead into it. You can lean into it and you can say, hey, I like that idea. I'm going to go with that idea. I'm going to think about that more. I'm going to imagine that in this moment. And in that moment, you can definitely be happier and happier if you believe in the possibility of. So when you are walking through day day by day, so you're getting triggered by these things that will pull you down to 3D, and you need to catch those and go, uh -uh, uh 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 I'm not playing that game anymore. But at the same time now, you can start walking through life and looking for the dream triggers, the things that, that, um, uh, they can come by things that are in front of you, or movies, or uh, a bird in flight. For me, a bird in flight does it. That's a trigger for me for a dream trigger. Right there, that's an example. Because I, on the outside the game, I fly all the time. So I really, really miss flying. So every time I see a bird in flight, I can immediately go with a dream trigger at that point and go, I remember when I when I could fly. I know that I'm going to fly again. Okay, does that make sense? Now, your dream triggers and your 3D triggers, your fear triggers and your dream, dream triggers, will be unique to you. There is no one anywhere, ever, who will ever be able to write a book and say, okay, these are the fear triggers and these are the dream triggers. Now, I want you to get rid of these fear triggers. Say, okay, that game is over. I don't have to be fearful of that anymore. I'm a creator God. I know what I'm doing. They know what they're doing. And you can let that kind of flow on through you. That's what they mean. Just don't worry about it. Just let it flow right through you. You had the thought, so what? You had the experience, so what? It was there for a reason. Been there, done that, done, and over. Now you're going to look for these dream triggers. You need to catch the fear triggers. But you want to lean into the dream triggers. And with these dream triggers, you don't need to know how. Because gods don't worry about how. They just say, it will be and it is. Okay? So that's what you're looking to, at with a dream trigger. With a dream trigger, you're looking to see, like I do, birds in flight. And I immediately smile and watch them. And immediately, I can, I can uh, remember 
that I know that I used to fly everywhere. And it isn't a question of if I will again. It's a question of when. That's all. It's not, it's not if. I know I will. It's a question of, of when. So I don't need to worry about the when because that will take care of itself. So I just go straight into the dream, so to speak. It's a reality. But at this point, it is still a dream. It's in dream mode until it becomes a reality. So the message that I got was uh, be aware of your fear or 3D triggers. Stop them as quick as you can. Understand that everything was exactly the way you had planned it all along. Everything always will be. You cannot mess it up and let those things try to flow through you as easily as, we, as you can. I know a lot of times it's not easy at all. It's not easy, but you can do it. And then look for the dream triggers and don't blow them off. You've been taught that if it isn't possible, then uh, daydreaming is a waste of time. Well, of course they told you that at three years old because they didn't want you to be able to dream because your creator God and dreams eventually are manifested. That they do have is right. So now, don't worry about what everybody else is dreaming. That's not relevant. If you are dreaming of a big house on the planet Earth or Earth-like planet with a love and kids and money, dream away. But I'm usually talking to star seeds, and they're usually looking for being on a planet where there's no fear and there's no... Everybody works together where you can communicate with each other. So however it is you need to get to that place through your dreams of what feels right to you, of you getting back to who you really are, this is, this is the time to lean into those. You can be triggered. I can be triggered by, I'll be really, really high, and I can see the colors that are not in 3D and 4D that I know are 5D colors prism colors all together and that will help me dream trigger into 5D of a knowingness of a remembering of what that is. Now granted my memories are a lot clearer and a lot more defined than yours are but you can do the same thing in whatever way you can do that. So you can do that with let's say you are on the internet and you run across a video where somebody's helping somebody or people are having fun at a party well that's 5d i mean there's nobody needs help in 5d but people working together to get something done and they're all having fun that's very 5d uh only working nobody's really working in 5d so again human words that i'm struggling with here but anything that will magical things happening um, in any way, shape, or form. Like, uh, magicians have come back hard and strong. Um, and they were like, n nobody watched magicians for decades. They were just not in. Now they're back in again. So watch magicians. Only dream trigger them into there not being a trick there, that it's really magic. So whatever they're doing is really magic. So think of it like that. Don't look up how they did the, the magic tricks. Okay, just know that whatever they did in an illusionary state can happen for real. Okay, that's one example. And I'm just new to this dream trigger thing over the last few days. So as I get better at it, I'll share my experiences. That gives you a baseline where you can move forward with it, like right in it right now. So as I said before, we were talking about being happier and happier when you drop which is a 3d or fear or judgmental trigger you need to let it flow through you ignore it move past it whatever way you whatever word you want to say however you need to do it so that you can get happier and happier now we're ready for happier and happier in spades so now we're heading towards that dream factor not what human civilization or society says is a dream but what you think is your ideal what you dream of, where you dream of being what does 5d look like to you and a year ago i think i did videos and asked people to say what is 5d to you well now we're going to use that now we're going to use that what i ask you to do and figure out a year ago hopefully 
you've been following the videos and doing what I ask, right? That's what you've been doing. So by now, you clearly know what 5D means to you, even though you're building on it every day. So now you can use that picture in your mind, and you can trigger yourself with dream triggers towards that 5D vibration. All right? Okay, guys, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Love you so much. Huge hugs. Bye now.